How are you guys doing? All right, I'm going to read a book that is called My Garden. And you want to know why I picked this book? Why? Well, I have a garden. Have you guys seen my garden? You, if you don't, get a chance to. If you haven't, I want you to walk over there, have your parents walk over and see how beautiful my garden is. Okay? Will you go see my garden? I planted lots of vegetables and some flowering plants, and we eat from our garden. So the chefs come down, and they pick out good vegetables, and we have great food. Do I have a hand? What's your question, young lady? Sometimes you can plant other kinds of fruits there. You can plant vegetables, right? That's awesome. All right, I'm going to read the story, and then maybe we can chat a little bit, okay? All right. Now, I have to be coordinated, so you have to be patient with me because I, to, to, I want to show you the pictures. My, it says, my mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so they don't need all the lettuce. It's hard work, and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden... So this is the little girl who is helping out in her mother's garden. Now she's imagining what would she do if she had her own garden, okay? All right, let's see what she's going to do. She said, if I had a garden, there would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. Do you think that would happen in a real garden where nothing would ever die? So her garden is kind of a magical garden, right? In, her, in my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. Wow, could you imagine if you had a garden that would just change colors with you thinking about it? If you wanted pink flowers, you'd just think pink, and they would be pink. What do you guys think about that? It's, it's not moving you too much. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. Does that happen in real gardens? What happens if you pick a flower in a real garden? It dies. It's very depressing. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate, and I would eat them. <gasps> How many people had chocolate rabbits this weekend? All right, parents. It's a lot of chocolate going on. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of chocolate. That's good. How many people here like chocolate? Oh, yeah. I like chocolate, too. She said, if I planted seashells, I'd grow seashells. If you could plant anything in your garden, what would you plant? Flowers? Yeah, yeah. And if I planted jelly beans, I'd grow jelly beans. How many people would plant jelly beans in their garden? Lollipops. It would be more, it would be a chocolate garden. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Things like buttons and umbrellas and rusty old keys. All right, think of the things that aren't food that you'd want to pop up in your garden. Just yell it out. Money. Wow. You guys, this is a very sophisticated crew here. Nothing like puppies. They went straight for the money. What else? Puppies. A great big house. We got a car. A great big house. The White House. Okay, you guys, have, you guys have big dreams. I love it. All right, in my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. Do you guys like birds and butterflies? Yeah. This is the best time for them to be. They're starting to lay, build their nest, and new little baby birds are being hatched right as we speak. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls, and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. 
So she wouldn't have carrots in her garden because she doesn't like carrots. What would you not have in your garden because you don't like it? Okay, we've got some string beans. No peas. No bananas. Eggplant. No eggplant. Oh, goodness. And no broccoli. Okay. It all sounds good. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars, and the strawberries would glow like lanterns. Could you imagine a magical garden that lit up at night and glowed in the dark? That would be so cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. All right, now we're at the, uh uh-oh, what happened? Are you okay? Are you okay? You want to see your mom? All right, go take her to her mom. We're almost at the end of the story. Okay, it's going to be okay. Okay, she's coming to you. You got to be ready for anything when you're reading stories. Okay, now, this is the end. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and I go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing, ask my mother. Oh, nothing, I say, just working in the garden. The end. Yay! You guys are good storyteller partners.